welcome back to the series of lectures on advanced distributed computing and today we are going to study what is clock synchronization is and what is physical clock so first we will see what is synchronization is as we know in distributed systems process are running concurrently and we know that it's very economical to share the resources so that we will save some money by not uh, repeating the same type of resources over the network so that's why we do a resource sharing and we know that sharing may be of two type that is cooperative and competitive now cooperative means what sometimes one process of a computer a needs cooperation of process on computer number 2 process b on computer number 2 now why it need cooperation maybe it requires some data to execute its process so that's why it needs a cooperation from another process that is a cooperative process and competitive means what a uh, competitive means a process is doing competition for a particular resource with other process so in both cases in case of cooperative or in case of competitive they need to communicate with each other so the communication is required so that is one thing then uh, resources we know are limited in nature so processes has to wait for resources sometime so there also they need some communication in between them so that they can wait and then they can resume good example of cooperative nature is client server model where we send a request to the server and server send a response okay so all these cooperative and competitive processes have to follow certain rules uh, or rules of behavior that will guarantee that it will do a correct interaction and these rules are nothing but the synchronization mechanism so this is what the synchronization is for example we synchronize two clocks correct clock of computer 1 and clock of computer 2 so to do the synchronization we use different type of algorithms and these algorithms are nothing but these are rules of behavior so we follow these certain rules of behavior that will guarantee that both computers will have same type of clock okay so this is what the synchronization is and now we are going to move towards the clock synchronization so friends first we will see what is clock synchronization and then we will move towards the physical clock and in next uh, session we will see what is logical clock so we know that every computer needs a timer mechanism and why we need this timer mechanism because we uh, have to communicate from one computer to the another computer in distributed systems over the network so it is possible that you will use distributed applications Uh, which need a time stamps for example if we use a distributed online reservation system currently maybe you are in india and you are trying to uh, re reserve the flight uh, for the russia and you are using a website that is uh, somewhere stored in the russia the server will be in russia so there are two different times on two different computers so you need to synchronize these times otherwise you will not get the correct result that is what the issue is every country will have its own time zone and to overcome on this problem we need some universal time or a standard time and that also we are going to see that how we can use that universal time or standard global time to synchronize the clock that we are going to discuss in the next slide uh, before that we need to uh, understand what is a physical clock is so friends a physical computer clock usually consist of three components what are these three component number 1 is quartz crystal something look like this number 2 is constant resistor and number 3 is counter resistor one by one we will see what is the use of this constant resistor and counter resistor and quartz crystal now what is quartz crystal it is that device which oscillates at a well defined frequency this look like this so inside your computer clock this oscillate on a given or well defined frequency so now we need to understand how this computer clock that is physical clock works uh, so we have two type of resistor constant resistor and counter resistor in constant resistor we use uh, this type of resistor to store a constant value and that is decide based on the frequency of oscillation of this quartz and why we use counter resistor it is only used to keep track of oscillations of this cross crystal 
So, working of this uh, physical clock is something like this. The value in the counter register is decremented by 1. So, the value of this counter register will be decremented by 1 for each oscillation of the quartz crystal. And when the value of the counter register becomes 0, that means this register, it becomes 0, an interrupt is generated. And the interrupted is nothing but a clock tick. So, that is generated and its value is reinitialized to the constant register. So, this is what the working of this physical clock. So, the summary is a computer clock uh, that is nothing but the physical clock has three components. Number one is a quartz crystal, number two is a constant resistor, number three is a counter resistor. They are used for different purposes. I already have told you that counter resistor is uh, used to keep track of the oscillations and constant resistor is stored uh, it value, constant value on the basis of the frequency of this oscillation of chords. So, whenever the value becomes 0, that means counter resistor value becomes 0, the interrupter is generated and that interrupt is nothing but the clock tick and the value of the constant resistor is reinitialized. So, now we will move to the next part and there we will see drifting of clocks. Friends, as we all know, clocks are running on a constant rate and they always run on a constant rate. Why? Because the quartz crystal inside the uh, clock, uh, inside the physical clock, they oscillate at a well-defined frequency. That's why they run smoothly. But the material used in the crystal or the differences in between the crystals used in a different clock, it is possible that the rate at which two clocks run are normally different from each other. So that difference becomes uh, more over the period. Initially, this difference might be uh, extremely small, uh, very small, uh, but the difference accumulated over many oscillations uh, lead to an observable difference in the times of two clock. So, this is known as a actually drift, okay, and uh, whenever uh, we will calculate this drift, we need to uh, remember that clock based on a quartz crystal, the drift rate is approximately 10 raised to minus 6, that is what the well defined. Hence, the computer clock must be periodically resynchronized with the real time clock to keep it non faulty. We have to say that we have to set the clock, 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 क्योंकि क्रिस्टल का जो क्वालिटी होता है और डिफरेंसेस इन द क्रिस्टल रहता है तो एक क्लॉक से दूसरा क्लॉक थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट टाइम दिखाता है और ये डिफरेंस क्रिस्टल के कारण ही होता है और उसको हम सेट कर सकते हैं रिसिंक्रोनाइज करके अब ठीक है फिजिकल क्लॉक घर में आपके जो वॉल पे है वो तो आप कर लेते हैं लेकिन व्हाट अबाउट कंप्यूटर क्लॉक फॉर दैट वी नीड सम सिंक्रोनाइजेशन मॉडल सिंक्रोनाइजेशन मेथड सो दीज आर द मेथड्स वी यूज फॉर सिंक्रोनाइजेशन फिजिकल क्लॉक Number one is UTC, number two is Christian's algorithm, number three is Berkeley's algorithm. So in this video, we will cover UTC. Uh, I will prepare a separate video for Christian's algorithm and Berkeley's algorithm. So what is UTC? UTC is nothing but coordinated universal time. And this is a standard time used across the world. Uh, it is a successor of Greenwich Mean Time, that is GMT. Uh, it is first actually invented in 1960, but accepted and officially adopted in 1963. This network time protocol that is NTP, it uses UTC uh, to synchronize the clocks over the internet. So this is the first they have invented network time protocol uh, to use UTC time uh, to synchronize the clock of the client with the server. UTC is also time standard used in aviation, for example, flight plan, air traffic control, weather forecast and maps all uses the, um, especially in maps, they use the UTC. And why we use UTC in all these applications, for example, in aviation, in flight plans or in air traffic control, simply to avoid confusion about time zone. Because we know that uh, in, uh, in world, we have different time zones. And especially in case of flight plans and uh, reservation systems and weather forecast, every country will have its own, own time zone. So it is possible that if I enter some time, particularly from India, I will enter time in Indian time zone, that format I will use. 
and I will enter the time. But if you see that from Russia, it is possible that you are in a different time zone. So that will create a confusion about the time zone and about a particular time. So that's why we use an international time standard, UTC, to avoid the confusion. Uh, one more application is International Space Station. They also use the UTC. Uh, many popular synchronization methods in DC, they use UTC as a reference time. Uh, the accuracy is 0 0.5 second and how we get the UTC means what for example uh, if you want a UTC how you will get it for that we have different method one is radio signal second one is a telephone line through that also you can get UTC or even it is broadcasted through the satellite also so you can use satellite also to get the UTC so that you will synchronize the clock of your own computer with the UTC now see how we will identify that our clock is properly synchronized uh, with the UTC or not. Now this graph you can see this is uh, clock time C and this is UTC that is what the T. That is, this is universal time and this is your own PC's clock time. So if this uh, DC divided by DT is equal to 1 then we will say that time is perfect. For example, on your computer there is 5, okay, 5 p.m. and UTC also 5 p.m. suppose. So 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. That means it is a perfect time. If uh, DC divided by DT is greater than 1, then your clock is fast. And if DC divided by DT is less than 1, then your clock is slow. So this is how you can identify that uh, our clock is perfect or not our clock is fast or slow we can identify easily using this particular values so here we have completed what is clock synchronization is uh, what is physical clock is what kind of material and components we use in physical clock what is clock synchronization basics we have covered in this particular video so thank you very much if you have any query you can write a comment uh, below in the comment box and I will definitely reply to you. Thank you very much.